Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Today, I'm going to show you some of the more complex mathematics typesetting features LaTeX offers and how to load the packages you'll need to access those features. So we'll start up a document that we said the same way we did in the last video, but this time we're going to use the AMS Math Package. I've copy pasted this in from another window, but you can have to type it out yourself. This is the American Mathematical Society's package of mathematical commands for LaTeX, which has been standard in distribution since 2005, and you're basically going to want to include this anytime you're writing a document which uses mathematical formulas and such. If you want to use other, uh, if you want to use other features that aren't included in standard LaTeX, you can look up on the internet or in the documentation for your distribution of what sort of uh, other packages you might want to use. Now, in the last video, I showed off a tiny bit of the mathematical typesetting ability it has, but here we've been some, put in some fractions, and you see, I see I've got 1 over 2, e over pi, dy by dx, and I've put a 5 in for comparison. So here we see our fractions, which are generated by the frac command, but as you can see, the 5 is much larger than the numbers in the numerators and denominators of the fractions. If we want the 5 to be the same size as this, uh, how do we do that? Well, the answer is that there's more than one way to go into math mode. While the dollar signs indicate text math mode, we can use uh, backslash square brackets to go into display math mode, which I'll be copy pasting in, uh, and this causes it, it, it to be displayed centered uh, and with uh, larger uh, expressions that span over multiple lines. So we'll put this in and compile it. And scroll up. And as you can see, now the 5 is the same size as the 1 and the 2 in the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. So let's say that you're doing your calculus homework. Uh, since we have the frac command, uh, we know how to do by dy by dx, but how do we do integration? We use the int command. If we compile this, we see we get an integral sign with uh, limits uh, above and below generated by the subscript and superscript, which are expressed by the underscore and caret in front of the int. Even though it looks like it's saying 0 to the 2, uh, the subscript and superscript automatically map to the thing behind both of them. We can also do sums uh, using the backslash sum command. And again, we use the subscript and superscripts. This time, though, we put groups around them because they're multiple characters long. The infd command generates the infinity symbol, as you can tell. Now, what if we want to do this in text mode? If we change this and get to that point in the document, of course, we see that it still displays the integral and the sum, but the limits are now not above and below it, but they're rather to the side of it. In order to fix this, we use the limits command, which changes where the, changes where the limits of integration and summation go, rather than next to it, as we'll see shortly. they now appear above and below the, where they ought to be. Additionally, subscript and superscript can be put on uh, normal mathematical expressions and even fractions. As you can see, we have y naught and x naught uh, denoted by the sub subscript 0, and also the, the evaluation subscript on the derivative. Now, say you want to do a larger sort of sequence of equations that you all want aligned together. For this, use the align environment, which I'll be copy-pasting in shortly. This includes multiple equations, which are aligned via an ampersand and separated between lines by a uh, double backslash, which is a command that makes a new line. Uh, this is also a sort of a math mode environment, even though there's not dollar signs or backslash square brackets next to it. If we align this, we see that the two equations I've written are aligned at the equals, which is where the ampersands are. The aligned environment also creates numbering for your equations, uh, which can be useful in longer big proofs. But if you don't want that, you can change the align environment to the align star environment. This is exactly the same, only it just doesn't have numbers in it. So we can also have matrices in LaTeX. Um, for these, you again use the ampersand to align things between columns and 
double backslash to separate rows. So we have our identity matrix here, and we use the B matrix environments for a square bracketed matrix. There are other matrix, matrix environments which um, change the delimiters around the matrix. For example, there's uh, V matrix gives vertical lines, that's lowercase v, P matrix parentheses. I'll be copying these, in these in shortly. Um, and as you can see, I've got a short list of all the different uh, sort of matrix environments that you can get for your matrices. So one problem that you might run into is uh, in parentheses in display math environments. For example, if we put uh, parentheses around a fraction and compile it in a display, in a display math environment, we see that the parentheses don't actually go all the way around a fraction. In order to fix this, we use the left and right commands around the parentheses. These change the parentheses to be large enough to include whatever is within them. So now we, can, now we compile this, and these match to the things between them, and as you can see, the parentheses are now large enough to include the one half. If you want to mo modify the size of parentheses or other delimiters individually, you can use uh, specific size commands for those, uh, which are all variations on the word big. So if you use capital B-I-G-G -G on the first one and capital B-I-G on the second one and compile these, we see that now one's too big and one's too small. The ones for the, this just one fraction that the left and right commands automatically generate are about the size of the uh, backslash lowercase B-I-G-G -G command. And of course, there are tons of other commands in the AMS math package and other packages, uh, which you can certainly explore for yourself. Thank you for watching this video in our series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Click here to view other videos in our series. Click here to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new Center of Math videos. And click here for our website, which has more math resources, including a catalog of our textbooks, which are all, as you may know, written in LaTeX.